Welcome to Evening Prayer. Tonight we're going to be reading Psalm 40. So if you haven't done so yet, now's the perfect time to, to grab your copy of the Psalms um, or open up your Bible app. But before we read that, we want to take an opportunity to stop, to breathe, to allow God to gather together our scattered thoughts. So we're going to be still. We're going to remind ourselves of God's presence with us. And we're going to light this candle as a visual reminder that Christ is present with us. So let's do that now. Let's start by being still. We light this candle as a reminder of the presence of Christ, the light of the world. Oh Lord Jesus, we thank you for your presence with us. In this moment, Lord, we ask you to still our anxious thoughts. Lord, all the troubles and worries, the concerns of today, we give to you. Lord, give us your perspective. And restore to us your peace. Amen. Psalm 40 is a, a cry for help. Um, it begins with David saying that he is waiting patiently for the Lord. And then um, talking about when God has rescued him before. That he lifted me out of the slimy pit, out of the mud and mire. And he set my feet on a rock. He gave me a firm place to stand. He put a new song in my mouth. I love that imagery. I love that. Um, I love that change. I love the comparison of the, your feet being stuck in, in mud and in mire and slime. And then instead being, being set uh, on a firm foundation. So we've all had experiences, haven't we, where it feels like we're stuck in a pit. Um, it feels like our our legs are all kind of um, stuck in, in mud and we can't move. And the, the more we try to get out of a difficult situation or the more we try to think ourselves out of a, a worry or something, it's like we get more and more stuck. And David's had that experience and he's celebrating how God lifted him out, um, brought him out off that mud and mire and instead gave him a firm place to stand. He then goes on uh, praising God for God's goodness and then based on what God has done for him before, based on God's goodness, ask God to help him for the trouble that he's facing today. So I don't know uh, what troubles you've faced in the past or what troubles you're facing today, um, but I know that God is good. I know the troubles that God has rescued me from before. Uh, I know that experience of um, having your feet set on a rock instead of in, in mud and mire. Um, so we're going to pray this psalm together. We're going to use it to pray for ourselves. Um, or maybe if there's someone else in your life you know who's having that experience of great trouble, um, you want to cry out for them instead using these words, then, then do that. 
And then once we're finished, we'll just uh, we'll jump off into prayer for ourselves, for our neighbours and for our world. Let's pray. I waited patiently for the Lord. He turned to me and heard my cry. He lifted me out of the slimy pit, out of the mud and mire. He set my feet on a rock and gave me a firm place to stand. He put a new song in my mouth, a hymn of praise to our God. Many will see and fear the Lord and put their trust in him. Blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord. He does not look to the proud, to those who turn aside the false gods. Many, Lord my God, are the wonders you have done, the things you planned for us. None can compare with you. Were I to speak and tell of your deeds, they would be too many to declare. Sacrifice and offering you did not desire, but my ears you have opened. Burnt offerings and sin offerings you did not require. Then I said, here I am. I have come. It is written about me in the scroll. I desire to do your will, my God. Your law is within my heart. I proclaim your saving acts in the great assembly. I do not seal my lips, Lord, as you know. I do not hide your righteousness in my heart. I speak of your faithfulness and your saving help. I do not conceal your love and your faithfulness from the great assembly. Do not withhold your mercy from me, Lord. May your love and faithfulness always protect me. For troubles without number surround me. My sins have overtaken me. And I cannot see. They're more than the hairs in my head. My heart fails within me. Be pleased to save me, Lord. Come quickly, Lord, to help me. May all who want to take my life be put to shame and confusion. May all who desire my ruin be turned back in disgrace. May those who say, aha, aha, be appalled at their own shame. But may all who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. May those who long for your saving help always say, the Lord is great. But as for me, I am poor and needy. May the Lord think of me. You're my help and my deliverer. You are my God. Do not delay. Yes, Lord, we know that experience that David talks about that that feeling that troubles without number are surrounding us, Lord, even the consequences of our own sin catching up with us sometimes. And Lord, when we uh, we think of what's happening in our in our world right now, Lord, we have that sense of of troubles all around us. We have that sense of um, our sins catching up with us. So, Lord, we look for you to be at work in the middle of all that, Lord. Lord, that you would be our help and our deliverer. Yes, Lord, and each person who's coming to prayer tonight will have their own troubles, their own struggles. So Lord, I want to pray that we would know you as our rescuer, the one who sets our feet on solid rock. Lord, for your love that surrounds us and protects us, we say thank you.
We want to pray for our friends and neighbours as well, Lord, those that we love, those that we know, uh, our work colleagues. Um, Lord, some whose troubles we know and some that we don't. And Lord, we want to pray that they would know you as rescuer, that they would know that experience of being lifted out of the mire and the mud of sin and trouble and set on solid rock. God, may we be those who speak of your love. We tell the story of transformation in our lives. Lord, may we not conceal your love and faithfulness, but may we speak of what you've done in, in ways that people are ready to hear and ways that people will understand, Lord. Finally, Lord, as we pray, I just want to ask that you would renew our passion for uh, those who are struggling, those who are suffering. God, that's who your heart is for. And God, would you give us a, more of a heart uh, for those around us here in need? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Lord, break our heart for what breaks yours. So that we can uh, come to you uh, and pour out our heart to you for ourselves and for uh, those around us. We're going to um, join together in prayer as we say these words that appear on the screen. O High King of Heaven, have mercy on our land. Revive your church. Send your Holy Spirit for the sake of the lost, the least and the broken. May your kingdom come to our nation. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Grace and peace be with you.